We're already halfway through 2025, and volcanoes have already made the headlines with 54 eruptions, including a new Mount Etna in Italy. But there are some potentially bigger eruptions on scientists' radars that are getting people excited. So should we be worried about Yellowstone in the US and Axial Seamount in the Pacific Ocean? The Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted 640,000 years ago, creating a crater measuring 70 kilometers x 45 kilometers wide, along with geysers, pressurized hot springs that erupt at extremely hot temperatures. What's more, the last eruption resulted in volcanic ash covering much of what is now the United States and lava gushing and flowing for miles. Since its last volcanic eruption, Yellowstone has become home to all manner of animals, bears, wolves, birds and elk, who live in the rivers, canyons, forests and mountains of the 8,900 square kilometer national park. But could another eruption be imminent? Scientists say we're due for a major eruption every 700,000 years, so we've got a long time, about 60,000 years. However, there's always some kind of volcanic activity going on, as there are between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes at Yellowstone per year on average and these go unnoticed as they're only magnitude 3 or less. Magma, molten rock, is thought to be between 4 kilometers and 47 kilometers deep at the bottom, with 489 cubic kilometers estimated to be near the Earth's surface. The U.S. Geological Survey recently noted that this is an estimated volume of melt that is one to four times larger than the volume of the largest caldera-forming eruptions in the past. But don't worry, the underground reservoir is much larger and not as full as scientists previously thought. When we used Magneto Telurix, we could see that there really wasn't that much hidden there, says Ninfa Bennington, a research geophysicist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory and lead author of a study recently published in the journal Nature. There are separate areas where magma is stored throughout Yellowstone, rather than just having one big reservoir. So, a Yellowstone eruption in 2025? Highly unlikely. And let's imagine a hypothetical scenario where the volcano did erupt, given what we know, it wouldn't be nearly as severe as previously thought. The Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field has produced three caldera-forming eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, including the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, 2.1 million years ago, the Mesa Falls Tuff, 1.3 million years ago, and the Lava Creek Tuff that created the Yellowstone caldera 631,000 years ago. Between these large eruptions, numerous lava flows and domes erupted within the calderas that resulted from these large eruptions. Although most of Yellowstone's large eruptions tend to be composed of rhyolite rich in silica and very viscous, which is why they can be so explosive and produce thick lava flows, this magma is the end product of a large magmatic system that extends from depths of 4 km to the base of the crust, 40 km. In fact, rhyolite only occurs in significant quantities between depths of about 4 km and 15 km in the crust, while the rest of the magmatic system is likely dominated by basalt, which originates from deep within the earth, has a lower silica content, and is much more fluid. Geologists have long known that large, shallow rhyolite magmas like those at Yellowstone require a large supply of heat to remain active and not freeze. This heat source is likely related to the transport of hot basaltic magma from deep within the crust to the shallower crust where the rhyolite resides. Furthermore, the influx of heat from internally sourced basalt may have been necessary to prepare the rhyolite system for eruption. <laughs>